Hello students, welcome. Welcome to the third paper of six papers of wits by Joseph Edition. In this third paper, <coughs> we will discuss about a question. How does Joseph Edison depicted false wit in his third paper of six papers on wit? In this third paper of six papers on wit, Edison described about several kinds of false wit that vanished in different ages of the world in which they discovered them, sorry, themselves in the time of monkeys ignorance monk ish monkeys ignorance okay i will explain the term monkeys in the later words here edition says that at the monks were the master of all that little learning which was extended with this engagement from business here he refers to the christian monks who dominated the church at a particular time several of them wanted genius wanted to be genius for higher performance in composing different tricks in writing he stated the instances of a night a E N I N E I D. Okay, a Latin rhyme, Latin rhyme to make it uh, the most perfect work. Here, Edison tried to justify the statement, Thou hast as many witches, O virgin, as there are stars in the heaven. Referring to a hymn in his uh, hextameter to the Virgin Mary, by that mean he made his verse witches. It's no wonder that a man who had so much time to portrait false wit of their own witch owe to the production of uh, anagrams. Anagrams, which means transmutation of one word into another. Transmutation of one word into another. Here, what happens? An anagramist takes a name to work upon, which looks something and refers to other. Here, he cited an example of an of a gentleman who applied this kind of false wit to gain his missus his heart or to win the heart of his missus by doing so he understood that uh, she was the one of the finest women of her age whom people called as lady mary bone here the word Mary was converted into mole, M-O-O-L, okay, which produce an anagram. Here mole refers to Mary. Upon the presenting, it is to his mistress who was a little rest in her heart to see herself degraded into mole bone she told him to his infinite surprise that he had mistaken her surname for that it was not boon but bohon b-o-h-u-n it should be she said that means she is little ahead to the composer it is in this way <coughs> the uh, acoristic invented 
with the anagram along with sorry although it is difficult to decide whether the inventor of one or the other where greater block had the simple acrost is nothing but the title of a person or a thing made up the first letter of the verse there are also some compound uh, acrostics where the main letter stands two or three deep or somewhat running downwards like the chinese writing in a <clears throat> perpendicular line uh, here addition also says that i have seen some of them where the verse have not only been edged by a name at each extremity but have had the same name running down running down like a seam through the middle of the poem also besides anagram and uh, acrostics addition refer to another false trick of wit is a chromogram this kind of wit appears very often on many modern writers particularly of german when they represent their inscriptions here edison stated that uh, the model of uh, you know gustavus adolphus timing the following words he said age christavas talks ergo tree worm mumps so he has spelled it as it like this or uh, capital letters c h r i s t v s then docs d u x then e r g o ergo gen then he said t r i v m p h v s in capital letters all big letter small letter mix it together but all capital letter the size of the letter is smaller and bigger if you take the pain of pain to uh, pick the figures out of the several words the range and range them in their proper order you will find uh, you will find the amount to m d c x v v v i i so now you count the amount or 1627 the year in which the model was stamped parade some of the letters distinguished themselves from the rest and overtop their flow fellows they are to be considered in a double capacity both as letters and as figures and this is the german wit which they have used here a man would think they were searching after an apt classic term but instead of that they are looking out a word that has an l an m or a d in it okay when they go through the poem therefore we meet with any of these inscriptions we are not so much to look in them for the thought as for the year of the lords this was much prevailing after this uh, addition focused on bout rhymes bout means old english rhymes where the favorite of the french notion see after germans uh, with uh, he now referring to you about the french literature and their art of witting okay so <clears throat> here what he says in a very you know um, interesting way uh addition has gone through the german and uh, french literature there was a list of words which rhyme to one another were drawn up by another and given to a poet here okay the french people do like this who used to compose a poem who the poem he was given some words and he will compose a poem and rhyme into the same order 
the more uncommon the rhyme it is considered to be more extraordinary and a sign of genius joseph pedison said this is a kind of false wit largely applied by the french poets and writers and some of the words they are often used to rhyme see i am reading those words such as laureers joriers mossets lissets and next comes caesar attenders and similarly to other words howlety follet howlet follet so from this uh, it is amazing to see how a learned man as a manage talks about these kinds of uh, trifle a trifle means uh, things of less importance are called as t r i f l e s trifles and then he moves to another portrait of uh, the false wit here he refers to monosures de la chambra has told me that uh, he never knew what he was going to write when he took his pen into his hand yeah he never know what he was going to write when he hold the pen that means but he said one sentence produces the another joseph edison also said the same thing happened with me so he used to gather all the rhymes together then after that uh, two three months he takes the time and composes his writing but the french model of uh, bout rhyme bout rhyme means old english version rhyme is uh, somewhere uh, excusable because there was a use of french ladies to means it is used by the french ladies to impose their lovers but if a famous author used it then it looks odd and ridiculous kind of false wit what what that edition says about and uh, the last kind of wit he spoke about uh, is double rhyme generally used in the doggerel you know poetry okay doggerel poetry no doubt it was praised by the ignorant readers but uh, i am afraid this doesn't sound much for the literate people or the literate mass if they read they take it in a different account in this way joseph edition portrays the sense of the false wit used by the germans as well as the french in their literature in his third paper of his six papers on wit here dagrel poetry implies a, a kind of you know comic or ridiculous natured poetry which are laughable and these ignorant readers those who are going through this usually applauded means they feel themselves you know great but uh, the intellectuals never accept this or praise this if the thought of the couplet in such compositions is good the rhyme adds little to it and if bad it will not be in the power of uh, the rahima to recommend it i am afraid that the great number of those who admire the incomparable horibas do it more on account of uh, these uh, doggerel rhymes means comic rhymes then of the part that really deserves admiration i am sure he says i am sure i have heard i have heard here you have seen that in the third paper of uh, six papers of uh, wit uh, uh, joseph edition has focused on the way how the poets and the writers of german and french people articulated you know their composition of poems by using anagrams and uh, acrotics 
acrotists and one another kind is known as chromogram and also different other types of width they try to apply but which doesn't sound much for the mass of literate.